Well, thanks everybody for tuning in. This is going to be episode two of season one as we had moved away from life in the marsh and now I've come into a new... I know the first episode was like that first episode of Seinfeld. Not a lot of really going on there. You know, you can see the cameras weren't as good and it was that type of week for me. And uh, tough with the two storms this week. Again, got out one day in the middle of the week uh, and then Sunday I didn't go out in that horrific weather. But uh, there's a reason and it's that... Opening photo that I use is, is the mink. I am on my minks now and uh, getting excited. Hopefully, it's going to be a good fall with the minks, a good winter with the minks. Hopefully, we'll get some otters. You know, uh, you can only hope. You can only hope that life just keeps coming in the way. Uh, the ospreys are pretty much all gone. Uh, I may get to see one or two lingering now. Uh, uh, moving now to the deer. The deer will be in rut also. Uh, hopefully still looking to capture that striped bass action that people want to uh, see. It, like myself. I mean, I'm the one that wants to see it. So uh, hopefully I'll capture that. And uh, thanks again for tuning in. And uh, I hope you, uh, this will be an easier way to follow. Hopefully things will pick up. I did have some great migrants this week uh, uh, as far as wobblers go. Uh, so that was really good. Bingo there. Uh and let's just go through the week, okay? Thanks for tuning in. In between the storms, I did get out one day. It was Wednesday morning or Thursday morning for a little while. Uh, that was nice, uh, a nice little break to do. Uh, and I got this beautiful doe with the golden yard, golden rods in the background there. I like that. I love the color of the golden rods with the doe. And, uh, of course, she starts taking off a little bit. Where that golden rods is, is... Uh, it, it's in front of a stone wall, you know, the many stone walls that we have here, uh, built around. Uh, and uh, this is where you just see the athleticism of the the doe. I mean, this is just amazing. Uh, she just, the, this launch here is just so much springs in the leg, so much power. Uh, for her, this wasn't even like, this was like a jump jump. It was not nothing at all. Uh, look at the beautiful muscle tone. How, huh? what a beautiful, beautiful animal. Uh, Always uh, love it, and uh, you know, I uh, had enough good light where I could stay with it, using a fast enough shutter speed, and I'm pretty happy with these, uh, you know, getting them. Here's uh, Sunday morning now. <laughs> this was into the monsoon, misty. Uh, you can see the testosterone uh, is going out. A young buck, its antlers are out of velvet, all scraped clean. The neck is thick, filled with testosterone, and so is that uh, spot between the legs. As you may see there too. Uh, here's the fawn. Also on Sunday morning, uh, the spots are all growing in. Time is moving so so fast. And both these photos, I'm pretty happy with because uh, I held handheld this with one thirty of a second with a five hundred millimeter lens. So uh, not the easiest thing to do. And also, this was my great encounter in the woods. Also, uh, I might have been one sixtieth of a second for this one, but it was unbelievable. Uh, handheld five hundred millimeter wet windy and to just be able to get something that's pretty pretty good for me uh beautiful monarchs we were uh, on the earlier day in the morning uh that was wednesday or thursday like i said uh beautiful uh seen a, a handful six seven eight maybe uh certainly nothing with the numbers i'm used to seeing around these parts of this time of year i mean we've had good years we've had bad years uh, I like this one with the berries and stuff. You know, it's just uh, always nice to see the monarchs. Uh, did see another caterpillar too. So a couple of caterpillars now in the last couple of weeks. Uh, last week, I hope you enjoyed that video at the end of season one, episode one. This is what I've been trying to capture with the comrades. This one came right up next to me. Now, all the rest of these pictures are from the same spot, I do believe, or pretty close to the rest of these pictures. Other than, uh, but you see that gorgeous blue eye of the double crested comrade and uh uh certainly over the last couple of weeks i've gotten some nice photos uh here's uh from some same spot now i got an american red star up in the tree one of the migrants came down in between the storms uh certainly that was uh, you know you always can get uh some big you know that one that went all the way up the main uh I was hoping to get that on the Sunday, but uh, it was actually during the midweek. But an Eastern Phoebe, but this Eastern Phoebe, uh, we well, we Phoebe, but uh, we get around uh, quite often. Uh, and I've actually uh, had an article published in Bird Observer Magazine. I had an Eastern Phoebe that was uh, a few winters ago uh, feeding on fish, uh, fish, yes, little minnows in, in the stream. Uh, 
Here's a bluegill. Uh, a bluegill. I'm talking about fish. I blue jay. Oh, pretty good. Huh? Blue the old bluegill, blue jay. Yeah. Well, it's one of them creatures here, but no, this one's got feathers in. Uh, this is. Oh, I'm just sitting in my spot, and this was the, the catch of the day for me. Uh, pretty wobbler. Uh, that was very, very active in the in the scrub brush uh, across from the stream from where I, I have now located to find my minks. As the opening photo showed, there was a mink, and that's what I'm uh, looking to do. I love catching bird activity with little birds, though. Uh, a nice sign of perch is okay, but if you can catch the motion, you see how he folds the feet underneath and stuff. Uh, beautiful, beautiful par prairie wobble. And look at this, how he's walking up the branch there, uh, probably just seeing a little gnats and stuff that are... Uh, you know, uh, still around. So uh, very excited to see a prairie wobble. It's actually the first for me in this location. I have seen them in Florida Copa Cup woods quite often, but uh, never here. Not that they have, I'm sure they, they've been through. Uh, I've just never, I've been fortunate enough in all my many years in this location uh, to, to grasp. So uh, certainly was very happy to see a prairie wobble here. Uh, and this was a Sunday, and this is a, just, it's just, Wet, wet on the, wet on the web. This is a, a one of the, the, the spiders there. We got more spiders there. More spiders in the marsh. Uh, this was a, one of the orb weaver spiders there. Yeah, the other one was a wolf spider. Uh, and look at the dew drops. And look at how it's made. And that's how the, you know, the design for uh, the guys that used to climb up the mask. Uh, uh, and the big bolts, they, they took that off the spider webs. And this was a wonderful wolf spider. Uh, I got a little video to, to put in here on this. Uh, that the hole actually is inside a, a branch. Uh, what a beautiful thing. But as you can see, all it is catching is raindrops. So uh, that's where we are. So I did take a little video of that uh, wolf den spider here. Uh, this is pretty, pretty cool. I mean, I just... Look at the raindrops. I didn't realize how strong spider silk is in the rain. Just in the way they hang it up like a canopy. Uh, canopy, a hammock. Uh, just love the wool spider. Uh, very fortunate to, uh, you know, see the see this world. I really am. I, I just love seeing the little things. I love seeing the bill. I, the intricacy. to see. Look at the amount of silk that they... Uh, Spin out very thickness compared to our all weavers, and look at the amount of rain that it's holding. Very good, and look at that little hole, perfect board into the tree. Oh God, that's perfect. Oh wow. So the next video, I'm just gonna let you guys listen to. This is a chipmunk, and you'll hear the alarm calls, and you'll see this chipmunk just trees. This week's uh, trial and errors, as they say. Uh, the trial of life for me is uh, tough to do with these minks, but uh, thank you for uh, taking a glance, and hopefully we'll uh, name this mink and we'll get a better ID. Well, once again, I appreciate you all for tuning in and sharing it when you can. I know last couple of weeks this week, a little light, but I can't do anything about the weather. Just trying to get it together. Also, in that fluctuation when species are moving back and forth, 
Uh, we're losing a lot, a lot of stuff is going away, going away, going away. And now we're just going to get a few residents that will come down from way up north. And uh, the rest is going to be our local stuff. And we'll just have to get very good with that. Very good. Uh, you just got to stay on it. Hopefully uh, things will progress and we'll have phenomenal action in the next couple of weeks. That's all I'm hoping for. Uh, peace all. Have a great week. See you uh, next week.